portion of health and strength. My body is hurting, but my heart is happy. I'm happy for Jesus today because he saved me. He gave me strength to be here. Let us pray. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for another day. We thank you for how you watched over us last night while we slumbered and slept. Touch us with the finger of love this morning. Let us get up out of our beds. Oh God, we might have some aches and pains, but you are good to us. You are merciful. You are kind, and we are so thankful. We are thankful for all the beautiful things you've done for us. Lord, we didn't have to be here today. We could have been dead and in our grave, but by the mercy of God, you strengthen us another day, giving us a mind to walk up right before you, please you in all our ways. And we are thanking you in advance for what you're going to do. Lord, we thank you for everybody that's here this morning. Every family that's represented. Lord, don't let us leave here like we came. Don't let us leave here like we came. Don't let us leave here like we came. We want to leave in a better condition. With a better mind. A mind to do your will. A mind to keep your word. In the name of Jesus, give us what we need to go on this journey. In Jesus' name, we're thanking you in advance. Amen and amen. Psalms 34, verses 1 through 5. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him, and were light, and their faces were not ashamed. The word of the Lord is blessed. be reading the statement of faith. We affirm our faith in the Bible. We affirm our faith in God. We affirm our faith in the blessed hope. We affirm our faith in repentance and salvation. We believe that the only means of being cleansed from sin is through repentance and faith in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. We believe that the regeneration of the Holy Ghost is absolutely essential for personal salvation. We affirm our faith in Jesus Christ. We believe in the redemptive work of Christ on the cross to provide healing for the human body. We affirm our faith in the Holy Ghost. We believe in the baptism of the Holy Ghost according to Acts 2 and 4 is given to believers who ask for it. We affirm our faith in sanctification. We believe in the sanctifying power of the Holy Spirit by whose indwelling the Christian is enabled to live a holy and a separated life in this present world. Amen. And this is what we believe.
everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Thank you, thank you. This is your time. We are going to sing the hymn. Today's hymn is One Day at a Time, Sweet Jesus. Amen. I'm only human. I'm just a woman. Help me to believe in what I can be and all that I am. Show me the stairway that I have to climb. Lord, for my sake, teach me to take one day at a time. Oh, Jesus, that is all I'm asking from you. Give me the strength to do every day what I have to do. Yesterday is gone, sweet Jesus, and tomorrow may never be mine. So for my sake, teach me to take one day at a time. Verse 2, do you remember when you walked among men? Well, Jesus, you know, if you're looking below, it's worse now than then. Pushing and shoving, crowding my mind, so for my Teach me to take one day at a time. Oh, one day at a time. Sweet Jesus, that is all I'm asking of you. Give me the strength to do every day what I have to do. Yesterday is gone. Sweet Jesus, and tomorrow may never be mine so for my sake teach me to take one day at a time oh one day at a time sweet jesus that is all i'm asking of you give me the strength to do every day what i have to do me the stairway that I have to climb, but for my sake, teach me to take one day at a time, but for my sake, teach me to take one day at a time, but for my sake, teach me to take one day Jesus. I love how the song says sweet Jesus because that's what he that's what he is. My grandfather always say he's sweeter than the honey and the honeycomb. So we thank God for giving us the strength to take it one day at a time. Amen. I'm doing multiple duties today. I'm going to be doing the announcements. Um, and so as you know, we started Sunday. Sunday school starts at 11 a.m. It is in-house. It's not online, so please join us in the sanctuary. Our service starts between 12.15 to 12.30 on Sunday for morning worship or afternoon worship. And that is in the sanctuary or on live, so you can tune in to watch that. And then we know that Sunday is our, our greatest day because we get our preach word of God. Um, then we have Tuesday prayer and Bible band at 7.30 p.m. That is in the sanctuary or live on Facebook. So you can tune in on Facebook. We have Friday night Bible study. This Friday night is going to be under the direction of our YWCC at 7.30. They are going to go in forth with their auxiliary night. Amen. On top of that, we have a special announcement. October 14th, say October 14th. 
at 7.30 is going to be St. Timothy's Fall Concert. We are excited to be doing our first concert um, here for a, a while. So please join us in the sanctuary. We will be live on that day, October 14th at 7.30. Um, other than that, we have the best way of giving, and that is the ministry of giving. Uh, we know that the more that we give, he gives us way more. Everything that he does for us daily, as he gives us every day at a time, right? He gives us more. So our ministry of giving, you can uh, download the Giveify app and find 2407 North Columbia Avenue, and that's St. Timothy Tabernacle Church of God in Christ, or you can find us on Cash App. Either way, we will accept your gift. You can always mail in a check, or you, the best way is to come in and be in the service with us and give it yourself. Um, other than that, I believe that is it for us, and we are going to have praise and worship. This is your time to praise God. I don't, I'm not a believer of pumping and priming. If you didn't enter into the gates with thanksgiving and enter into his courts with praise, then you made a mistake. But I know that we serve an incredible God. Amen. I've had some problems, some great and some small. But you being God, deliver me from them all. Still can't believe all the ways you made. An incredible God deserves an incredible praise. Oh, 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 oh. come on, say, I've had some problems. I've, I've had, had some problems, problems, some great and some small. But you being God, deliver me from them all. Still can't believe all the ways you made. An incredible God. An incredible God is an incredible friend. What kind, what kind of God would do this for me? Victory, grace, and mercy. He is so special, simply incredible. He's so incredible. An incredible, an incredible God is an incredible friend. What kind? He's incredible. He's incredible. He's incredible. He's incredible. He's incredible. 
you know he's an incredible God. Amen. Yes. He deserves an incredible praise. Yes. If all you can yes. do is clap your hands, that's fine for you. Yes. That's all right. But if yes. you can lift your voice and give him the highest praise, Ooh. which is hallelujah. hallelujah. He deserves an incredible praise. Hallelujah. That means the very best that you can give him. Hallelujah. The very best. And that means you can stand up if you got activity of your limbs. That should be what you do. That means you can clap your hands. He deserves the incredible. The incredible. We're talking about a God that saves us, that wakes us up, that heals our body. He deserves an incredible praise. And that's why we came in here to praise him. We enter into the gates with thanksgiving. We enter into his courts with praise. So that's what we come to do. We come to praise him. Amen. Come on, clap your hands with me. Oh Lord, we praise your name. Oh Lord, we praise your name. Your name forever reign. Your name forever reign. Oh Lord, we praise your name. Oh, Lord, we praise your name. 
highest praise. Not only is it the highest praise, it is the greatest praise. Hallelujah to our King. Hallelujah to our God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Truly God is worthy of a hallelujah praise. Amen. Amen. We don't only just praise him in church. We praise him at home. We praise him in our car. We praise him everywhere we go. Because God is such a good God to us. He sits high, but he looks down low on each and every one of us. Oh, what a good God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a hallelujah God we serve. Amen. Amen. We've had our song. We've had our prayer. Now we go on, go, go into not good English, but the goodest part, the best part, the bestest part. Amen. And that is the word of God. Amen. It takes the word of God to save us. It takes the word of God to keep us because truly we need God on our side each and every day. Take the Lord along with you. Used to be an old song we sing. Everywhere you go. Because you're going to need him. You're going to need him. Take the Lord along with you. Amen. We have two beautiful speakers on today. Uh, one is our own sister, Melissa Grimes, is going to come and give us the preached word. And then we have a lady I've known all my saved days, and it's been at least about 50 years. And that's our own mother, Sarah Graves. Amen. She will follow her with the closing of the word. So let us sit attentively and let's listen to what thus says the Lord. And when it gets good to us, holler out and encourage. Amen. Keep on going. Amen. Amen. So at this time, let us say amen to our own sweet Melissa. Amen. For this Women's Day, we thank God for this beautiful day that the Lord has given to us on today. We want to first acknowledge our pastor, Pastor Orton Edwards Sr. We love you and we certainly adore our pastor. And by his side is his beautiful wife, our first lady, uh, Missionary Leilani Edwards. We praise God for her as well. Certainly praise God for this opportunity. We praise God first for being saved and sanctified and filled with his Holy Ghost power. We thank God for giving us the strength to be here on today and we certainly don't take this for granted. So we praise God for this opportunity. Um, the topic that was given to me by our beautiful First Lady, um, simply is he brought out the best in me um he brought out the best in me is the topic and he certainly brought out the best in all of us um so um question when did jesus bring out the best in us well you might think well when did jesus bring out the best in us us making it collective well he brought out the best in us when he saved us when jesus went to the cross and when he died for us jesus saw the potential in us jesus gave all of us individual gifts all to glorify his name and you may say well how do how do we know or how do we get to the point where Jesus can bring out the best in us? Well, you can certainly first by asking God to stir up the gift inside of us. Yes. To stir up everything that's within us that we could use to also glorify his name. Yes, and also by seeking his face. When we seek Jesus first in all of his kingdom and all of the righteousness, all of these things will be added unto us. So by asking God to stir up the gift in us and asking God to seek him first 
and um, asking him for a yes, Lord, in our spirit, we can't go wrong with bringing out the best in us. Amen. And finally, get a strategy. And what do you mean by getting a strategy? Meaning simply by saying yes to your will and yes to your way. And yes, I will simply obey. And allowing the devil to know that you will not hold my past against me because I am the best. And devil, I can't do all things through Christ that gives me strength because I am the best. I win when I have Jesus in my life. <laughs> so we're going to make this personal. And we're going to repeat to ourselves. Even when everyone else saw the worst in me. Thank you, Jesus, for seeing the best in me. Pray my strength in the Lord. <laughs> you done for me Jesus I'll never forget how you set me free Jesus I'll never forget how you brought me out Jesus I'll never forget no never oh Jesus I'll never forget what you done for me Jesus I'll never forget how you set me free
First Lady, and to the elders and mothers and missionaries. And if I go down the line, if I try to go down the line, I might miss somebody. And I just want to know that I love everybody. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. God. And God, because God has blessed us to come together one more time. Yes, wow. he has. One more time. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Oh, but he did. But he did. But he did. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Bless your holy name. Give honor to God. And whom honors do this morning? I thank God for my life. Just thank you for just blessing me to be here this morning. Praise God. And being able to be about my father's business this morning and to get myself together and come out one more time. Praise God. God is so good and he's so merciful. Yes, he is. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I certainly enjoyed the, the choir one day at a time. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, sweet Jesus divine. I sing that song to myself so many every, uh, so many days that I wake up. One day at a time. Yes, Lord. Hey, you bless me to make it one more yes, day. Lord. Hey, one more day. My Lord, my God. What a mighty God we serve today. God is so good. I'm just, I'm just kind of, kind of happy in Jesus today. Praise the Lord. So excuse me. Just happy in Jesus. And I'm just so glad to see Mother over there, sitting over there. I said, well, I'm going to hear from her today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All right. Hallelujah. I, because I, each time that you that you come, mother, I enjoy you. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. Oh, we've been on the road and on a little bit. Been on this highway of holiness a little bit. Hallelujah. And we're still traveling on. Yes. As they used to say, traveling up the King's Highway. Trying to make heaven my home. They say heaven is a holy place. And that's where I want to go. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, yeah. And I thank God for my, uh, my first lady. She gave me a, she gave me a, a, a something to speak on. And I'm just going on and talking and talking. Because I feel pretty happy. Praise him. Feel pretty happy. Praise Hallelujah. him. Hallelujah. How God is blessed in my life. Boy, I won't even, don't even, won't even talk about the any circumstances because God is in control. Yes, he is. He's in control of every, everything. And I look to him each and every day. Yes. Yes. The author, the finisher of my and mother gave me, she said, this is your verse. Sing John 3.16. My voice, voice is not as, as uh, it goes and comes, but I won't complain. Praise God. John 3.16. And it says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son uh -huh. and whosoever believeth in yes. him should not perish but have everlasting life. Yes. Only believe. Only believe. 17 verse says for God sent not his son into the world. Yes. To condemn the world, 
but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth is not condemned, and he that believeth not is condemned already. Because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. God gave his Son. Yes. Hallelujah. His Son gave his life. Yes. Hallelujah. Gave his life. Praise God. So much love that he had for this world. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. And 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 when you, when you think about love, the world has so much of the world don't know don't know Jesus. They don't know God. No, they don't. They don't have love. Because this world needs love today. Amen. It needs love today. Yes. Everything <coughs> is magical and everything is is happening today. Yes. Yeah. Everything is going on but the word of God. Okay. The word of God is not reaching around the world to let the people know that it's time to love. Amen. But the hate, so much hate, so much hate. My Lord, my God, it's just something, something. Think about it, 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 it just rubbed, done rubbed all over the world. It's everywhere. Oh. Now everywhere, everywhere. Where is love? But love lifted me. Yes. Keep love down in our hearts. And the Bible said, love one another. Yes, yes. We must love, love one another. Yes, Lord. And yes. love the love the saints. Love the brethren. Yes. Love everybody. Praise God. Lord, hallelujah. And I and the people don't they don't want, they don't have love in their hearts no more. Just think about every other thing that they can they can do. And just filling up the institutions and and and, and the minds of the people is just going up to the sky again. I, I was listening to a missionary last Sunday. And she uh, asked a question, and she said, as to what is in your heart? Mm -hmm. And we think about just what is in, love is not in, in, in the world, or in the world. It's not in the world. I was, they tell me I look, watch too much TV, but I like to know what's going on. Right. Because so much is going on around you. Not, not really around me, and I thank God for that because I, I live, you know, where I live in a, in a quiet, you know, neighborhood. But uh, she asked, she, she asked a person, what is in your heart? What's in it? What's in it? Amen. Search it. Search me. Say, search yes. my heart. Yes. And if there's anything Hallelujah. that shouldn't be, oh, God. God, take it out, Lord. Strengthen. Hey, and strengthen me. Oh, yeah. Take it out. If there's anything in your heart that shouldn't be there, you got anything against your, your, your anybody, take it out. Take it out. Yeah. Yeah. Take it out. It will hinder you. It will hinder you. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, because, you know, it's people, hearts, hearts are hardened, hearts are hardened today. What's in your heart? Mm. That was, that was a good question. Mm -hmm. And I listened to her, but when I, I take notes, and then when I read some of the, uh, uh, that she, that she spoke about, I began to think about, I said, then she said, what's in your heart? Mm -hmm. People's hearts are hard. They don't, they don't seem to have no heart. What's going on? Oh, the, you know, the devil is loose. He's mm -hmm. doing just what he said yeah. he was going to do. Mm -hmm. Going to and fro, up 
up and down and around and in everywhere. My Lord, my Lord. Seeing whom he can devour. Yes. And he's destroying the world today. Yes. Destroying the mind, the mind. Oh, God. Mind, my, 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 my. Destroying the mind of, of, of the young men and young, young people. They walk, they walk around like they got a noose, noose. Some, I, 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 just, I just don't want to be, don't care to be around them, God. They just don't look right and they don't act right. They just need Jesus. Yeah. Amen. They need Jesus in their life. Yes, yes. My, my, my. But we serve a God that can pick you up and turn you around. Yes. Turn you around. Yes. He turned me around. Hallelujah. He'll turn you around. Yes, he will. I didn't have no problem. I just, because I was born and raised in the country, and it wasn't nothing to do but look at the fields and the hills. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But as I got older and began to uh, to mix with, with different people and, and everything, but I had Jesus on my mind. Oh, yeah. I had and kept Jesus on my mind. And everywhere that I I, I had to walk, walk three to five miles just to get to a church, to, to the church house. Mm -hmm. Had a little Sunday school, and they sang the old songs of Zion. Yes. Praise the Lord. But I can say I've been brought up I've been blessed and brought up by the Lord. Yes. 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 I've been blessed. Yes. Yes. And I thank God for it that I've been blessed. Brought up, brought up, and everywhere I go, everywhere I went, when I changed cities, I looked for the, I, I didn't look for the Christian people, but I met them. And it was all about church. Amen. But and every time I meet somebody that wasn't in church, they want to take you to a to a club or something somewhere. I didn't I I, I didn't enjoy it, uh, you know that much of that. I experienced it, but I thank God. I thank God oh, for where God. He brought me from. Yes. Yes. Praise the Lord, and I thank God that. For my life and my family and my children. And I invite well, a couple of my children to go, go to church and uh, to different churches. But I said a long time ago, I said if my husband didn't go, mother, father, sister, and brother didn't go. All right, mother. I'm going home by myself. Yeah. did I want them to do. If, if I had to stay in the hospital and, um, and uh, uh, for a heart failure or, or whatever was going on, you know, with my heart or something, do you, she said, do you want them to put you on life support? I said, no. I said, when the Lord gets ready for me, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. 
said, I want to be ready. Oh God. I don't have to need no, 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 no life support. Cause God says when when he's when when he's ready, I'm ready. And there was a lady of uh, uh, Mother Fields and Mother Glenn saying, when he calls me, I will answer. Yes. I'll be somewhere yes. listening yes. for my name. Yes. I'll be somewhere listening for my name. Yes. And at my age today, I'm listening. Hey, right. I just want to be ready. Yes. Hey, I'm packing up. Oh, packing yes. up, packing up, packing up. Getting ready to go. Thank you, Jesus. We called me. Praise the Lord. Relax. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Anyway, time, time, time. Praise the Lord. There's a day, there's a, there's a day for all things, but I'm just so glad that the Lord has spared me and kept me and blessed me down through the years. Praise the Lord. And I, as I was um, thinking about the, the, the love that for it, God so loved the world. And we used to sing an old pra and a praise. Love lifted me. Yes. Yes. Nothing yes. Else. Lifted me. When nothing else could help. Yes. Love lifted me. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. If you got love, the love of Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. He prayed to Christ. Praise the Lord. And there's so many definitions of love and talking about love love even even the, in the whisper it just went on down the line about love 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 but love and kindness hallelujah love one another Amen. Yes, love one another for love is of god yes. if we don't have love in our hearts we are not of god and maybe it's, you know, in this, so many people don't don't have love. If you don't have love, someone don't have love, just get it, get it right with God. Yeah, man. Yeah, get it. right with God yes. and do it now. That's it. Yes. Praise the Lord. Love. The love lifted me. Yes. When nothing else could help, yeah. love lifted me. Oh, yeah. And I'm so glad, just so glad. That one day I decided to take Jesus my, for my choice. Yeah. And there's been no turning around, no turning back. Praise God. Praise God. And I'm just working on the working on the building. That's it. It's a sure foundation. It's a sure foundation. Yeah. Sure foundation. Yeah. Holding up the blood stand by yeah. banner from my Lord. Yeah. And elder. I'm working. I'm working on that project. I'm going to talk now. I'm going to get up in the Lord. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. Praise the Lord. I made contacts. And when it, when it comes for our, our, our celebration time, we we want to have it together. Amen. We we want to have it lined up. Amen. And I'll say, and in lining up, lining up, what we are uh, planning on is to bless our pastor and wife. Amen. October is our month. Is lining elders' month and all the mothers, Lord, and all the church is our month. And I guess um, I'm, I'm going to see a little late, a little not late, but uh, you, uh, Elder, you and I, and who, and the mothers' board, or whosoever, and the women can can uh, you know stay and listen to what we have to say, because we have 
some projects going on. And we we have October or October, November is Elder's birthday. I don't know what they're December. doing, Memphis or whatever. December. December. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. But we we want to bless them real good. Amen. If him and mother want to go wherever, whatever they want to do, then they they can be. They will be blessed. So just pray for me and Mother Grady. Keep on keeping on. Amen, amen. Keep on traveling down the King's Highway. I'm working on the building. It's a sure foundation. I'm holding up a blessing. Better for the Lord. Amen. I was thinking about the word before, or 
remember how when you were uh, uh, almost uh, 30 some years ago, 32 yes. years ago, we gave our life to the Lord. And he made he, he brought the best out of us, amen. 30 years, 32 years ago. Because he loved us enough, yes. the word that was preached to us. And this is why it's important for you to know Christ Jesus as your yes. Lord and Savior. You can't wait until the next day or tomorrow, next second. It's not promised. But the day you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your heart, amen. Yes. Because we need Christ as our Lord and Savior, amen. Uh, there is no other, there's neither is there any salvation any other. But there's no other hand, name of the heaven where we must be saved. And that's the other Jesus Christ, accepting him as your Lord and Savior. Yes. And all it is repenting of your sins. Yes. And Lord, Lord, forgive me my sins. I've done wrong. And meaning out of your heart. Just not say it out of your mouth and don't mean it. But meaning out of your heart. Because whereas man's look at the outer appearance, but God sees the heart. He knows the heart. And ask God to forgive your sins. Say, Lord, forgive me. I've done wrong. I fell short of your glory, Lord. But Lord, forgive me my sins. And then, according to the word, according to Romans 10, chapter 9, if thou shalt confess with the mouth of the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead. Who he raised from the dead? Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Thou shalt be saved. Amen. Because this, this, is, this is a change. We have to change. Change. This is a difficult thing. People don't want to change. They think they can do the same thing they want to do, and then they don't have to be saved. But you need to know him as your personal savior. You need to know him as Jesus Christ. He is the savior of the world. Yes. God gave him for us. He died, he bled and died. He took all the, uh, the stripes, the books, and everything. Yes. He took all of them to the cross. Yes. Amen. He bled and died on Calvary Cross for me and for you. Yes. 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 Then he gave us his life. But then he gave us life for us. That we may know salvation as Christ is our Lord and Savior. Is there one that says, I'm sorry, I'm tired, I'm tired of what I'm doing. I need to put them down in the world. I'm tired of what I'm doing. But I want Christ as my Lord and Savior. Because he makes a difference and he brings the best out of me. Because he is who he said he is, amen. And those that are accepted Christ on Facebook and those on YouTube, we want you to, to put your comments where you're at and, and also the city state you're at. But we're going to pray for those ones. We want you, we're going to pray for the unsaved loved ones. And we know we got family ones, yes. our family ones that are not saved, don't we? That we want them saved. But we're going to pray the Lord save them, touch their hearts over the mind. Yes. Let them come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Let them know that Christ is the answer for them. Amen. Yeah. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for what you're doing. We thank you for blessing each and every one. We thank you for the word that's came today by Sister Melissa and Lobos. Also as Mother Grave Lobos. Yes. Now, Lord, we ask you to touch the hearts and soul and mind of your people right now, God. Those that are out there, Lord God, that don't know you, Lord God. Those in prison walls, Lord God. Those in hospital and nursing, Lord God, touch their heart even now, God. Let them come to know you as the Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. That you are the Savior of the world because God sent you, oh, to die for the world. And Lord, we ask you to touch the hearts and the mind. Those backsliders, Lord, the backsliders out there, Lord God, touch their heart and bring them in for repentance on their heart, Lord God. Those that, Lord God, give those a mind to be saved, Lord God, that don't have a mind to be saved. Let them know that you are the answer to their problem. And that, Lord, you're able to do everything but fail. And we trust and depend on you, God, because in you we live and move and have our being. You are the over glory today. We thank you and glorify your name. We exalt you in advance, Lord God. Heal the sick, Lord God. Touch right now, God, the little thing in the body. Let your healing fresh your power always shout them down, God. By your spirit and by your power. And we give you the glory and the honor and the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. 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 We thank God for the word. Amen. Thank God for you, you and each and every one of you all today. We ask you to continue on watching us on Facebook. Continue on watching us as a part of, of the ministry of St. Timothy. That we go to work of the ministry here in the city of Indianapolis on the east side. Amen. Thank God for my, first, my wife, First Lady Evans. Thank God for her. Uh, she did an extra job of the program today. We ask you all for amen. We ask you to continue on prayer. Thank God for our uh, sister that's in our uh, fingers that was on the vision. Uh, she had to go out of town on emergency. Go out of town. We ask you to pray for Sister Hobson and her father. Amen. amen. And we ask you to pray for each and every one of one another. Amen. You pray for me and I pray for you. Amen. And we'll see that God changed things in our life. Amen. Amen. Amen.